Q&A now on the yeah. CU Pockets. This is from SA Jewers. Um, and it's a, a link to a PC Engine Pro Boards uh, site, which is, I guess, a forum site, Pro Boards. And um, uh, someone named Digi Piggy on the forum <laughs> linked to, um, I guess they linked to someone showing a mock-up of the PC Engine LCD monitor. Portable monitor LCD. That's what it's called with uh, with with that neat like uh, PC Engine font. So it it's um, a little 16:9 LCD screen and a little gray little holder, like a like a not even is it is a flip up? Yeah, it's a flip up screen. Mm-hmm. And you insert it into the back of a little PC Engine, which are tiny. And once you do that, it looks surprisingly like. Oh my god, it's right here. Like the PC Engine. Oops, where's the lock? LT. LT. So it would look somewhat like that, except obviously it, this wouldn't have, you know, the 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 uh, D-pad and the buttons on it. But otherwise, it, it looks fairly similar. Um, the LT, I believe, if you go to the side, can't you? Can you? Does it have a port? Can you hook up the CD drive to? Yes, you the, can. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. So that's the one thing, unless... You have to buy an adapter, though. This oh okay. This doesn't have a pass through, so it wouldn't let you. I it, one you wouldn't have the onboard controller. Uh, two, it wouldn't. There would be no way to hook the uh, CD drive up to this. I don't believe once you added uh, attached well, the screen. I think this uh, maybe there's an adapter for the. Was, there's, was there two different CD systems in Japan? There was just one add-on. I, I have to look into. But there's definitely an adapter you can buy that's very oh, rare for for that. Yes, yes. that I know. I'm there's talking about adapt- this. Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do the CD, but it's still pretty neat. Um. It's a I, very I, small screen. Uh, it's a it's a uh, sixteen nine. It screen. looks sixteen nine, but now I'm looking at this. It, it might be four three like this. No, that's definitely. You a, think that's, that's definitely sixteen nine? Oh, because it's not long vertically as long. Yeah. So, so um, and it looks like it. W- I hope I don't know if it would uh, stretch it or if it would cut it off at four three. But it yeah, seems like wasted bad. space. But then again, you, you probably can't get four three LCD screens you can't probably no, get a source what, what 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 you would want to do is it looks like, like a bigger one and cut you, it off you, yeah and then mask it and mask it and basically just mask but it but there's buttons have, on the, it to four three there's buttons on the front that i don't know what they do there's probably just it's an lcd screen so but, it like it, it makes built-in speakers though so you get the sound out of it, it would be sound and brightness is what um I guess. but then you also get an hdmi out for tv that's intriguing that's the, yeah i think that's me. the more neat uh thing is the the hdmi out uh, who knows what it's doing? I can't tell here. It doesn't say what it's up, con- up upscaling to. If it would look nice. So, but then, but then, obviously, it's not exactly as portable because you still have to h- plug in a controller in the front of your PC sure. engine. This is basically a PC engine. But the PC the engine on itself is, is 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 small, so it's still kind of a neat, cute thing. They they the same exact font for the LCD as they do for the PC engine LT. I got this from our buddy uh, Carlson. Yep, I remember. So, yeah, it's a neat little thing. Um, I don't know why that's sitting right there. It's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> that's where the stadium events cart used to sit. <laughs> right there. Um, yeah, it's it's cute for something like this. It's always you know what the, what would the price be? Um, some of the comments are funny uh, about that. The first one says, "Ah, turn it into an LT, basically." It's like yeah, except you don't have a built-in controller on there. HDMI out, wowzers. <laughs> the good news is that with technology, the screen will look a lot clearer than that old one. That's uh, good news. I love Brandon. Brandon is snarky. But. Uh, neat, but this is third party. I guess wait and see if the quality is good. And Brandon replied, it couldn't be anything but third party. NEC isn't exactly making very many PC <laughs> peripherals these days. I'm not sure what NEC has been up to. Columbus Circle Business so far has been doing reprints for MD and Super Famicom games. So this is a company called Columbus Circle that I've not heard of before. Like, that's, if that's a foreign company, that's a weird name. Columbus Circle. Super Famicom games? Let me look this up. I, I, yeah, they've done releases before. They're on. They have stuff on Play Asia. I've never heard of this. Columbus Circle is a company. Okay. Okay, they've done stuff before. They so this is a will be an actual product potentially. They've done like uh, retro combo systems. So they've done like stuff like that, like the Hyperkin combo system, things like that. Okay. Gotcha. It's a weird name for a, a Japanese company though. Columbus Circle. That's, that's uh, like, Columbus Circle also apparently did a a fairly nice the, looking boxed, um, boxed complete Famicom uh, version of Battle Kid. Really? Okay. Japan only. Yeah. Work with my our pal Jordan. 
Columbus Circle circles the globe. Maybe Columbus. Maybe that's what. You know, didn't, I'm just trying to think of the a re- circle. Like a circle in Japan is a dojin group. Like a, I don't know if this is what they mean, but a circle is what it's called. Like a, a like a release group. Like a group that makes like small games. Oh, and small okay. Releases. It's a circle. Um, and I don't. Col- I, and then Columbus, who knows what the hell? Okay, that makes sense. I just thought it was a weird. Thing. So this is a, a real company. Um, yeah, they have a Famicom, Super Famicom combo, sort of hyperkin, sort of like you know, like the, the was a retro duo sort of thing. They've had that. Um, so okay, if this comes out, um, we'll see. We'll see what it costs. Yeah, depending on the price, I might actually be interested. in Hundred bucks. It out. Hopefully, it's like a hundred bucks, eighty bucks for a little screen. The LCDs are cheap now, but who knows? Who knows what the tech is? Yeah. Someone says I could have gotten a larger sixty nine screen because they are cheaper. Set it to four three, and then put a four three border over it, so no one will even knows it is widescreen. They can still do that. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah. A, that's one thing. There's a lot of wasted space when you look at that. It could mm-hmm. be it's smaller than that screen. Once you crop it out, and make it four three on that. You know. This person said, this is how I do screen replacements for PC engine LTs. Oh, good. Now I know I can go for someone to, for a screen replacement if I need it. Get a five-inch widescreen and then set it for 4.3. Works looks great. There you go. Okay. I think that's a nice little thing. We haven't had a PC engine sort of thing happen in a while. You know, now you can buy, um, they're only $15. You can buy the, instead of finding um, a, a Turbo Graphics, um, the adapter to make it AV composite, they now sell like those green ones for like 15, 20 bucks that you can do it. Ah, uh, yes. Our friend Ryan at Castlemania Games actually sells. He does sell. The little, there's a, yeah, it's like a, it's oh. like, it's called a turbo charger or something instead of a turbo booster. It's basically. Turbo a, booster, yeah. It, it, it's it, essentially a third party turbo booster now. Which is great because. to do all that stuff. Because turbo boosters are, are f- f- few and far between. Yep. Especially the pluses. You can't find all well, the pluses gets you the little backups for some of the games. So I still don't know how right. it works. Some sort of weird lithium backup inside uh, there. But yeah, they're like 15, 20 bucks. Check out Castlemania Games for yours. It's called the Turbo Charger. I don't know what it was actually called, but it's something like that. And it's essentially a third party turbo yeah. booster. Yeah, there you go. There's no HDMI out. Is there an HDMI out cable yet for that? Um, for So for PC Please. Engine, no. You can use. You can use like a like an HD retrovision component cable with a Genesis adapter. I think there is an HD cable oh, for no, Turbo Graphics. They yes. got it for Turbo Graphics. There is no. They got it. I'm looking at it right now. Let's see. Yeah, for Turbo Graphics. For Turbo yeah. Graphics, it's thirty five bucks. Mm-hmm. Hyperkin makes them. Uh, Pound was going to come out with them. Now they all have them. Thirty five bucks, and you get the, uh, the little adapter for four, three, and sixty nine. It's only thirty five bucks. We have a solution now for almost every old console for HDMI. It's great. It's like, the past two years has happened yeah. for all of them. You know. Oh, cool. You know, I'm going to start. Should I get a big LCD in here instead of having a little Magnavox monitor? It's adorable. I don't know. It's adorable. It is. What were you, we used, what were you used for, the, for the marathon last year? We used that, that TV, right? We used that one. Didn't we? Yes, we I think we did. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. We'll see what happens when it comes out from the Columbus Circle Group. <laughs> 